Hello, my dear Web Methods professionals. Today, we are focusing on how to capture the JSON body from a post request. Here I am creating one folder for this demo. Right click, select new, click on rest resource. Type a name for the rest resource. Create an empty rest v2 resource. To define a rest v2 resource operation, click add. Select HTTP method for the rest v2 resource operation. Specify the rest URL. This URL template that a request from a client application must follow. The name of the service to associate with the REST v2 resource operation. You can specify the fully qualified name of an existing service, or the name of a new service. Click OK. If you specify a new service name for associating with the REST v2 resource operation, Integration Server creates a service and adds it to the same folder as the REST v2 resource when saving the resource operation. In addition, the input signature of the new service includes the dynamic parameter specified in REST URL. To define the correct input parameters, we must know how Integration Server handles JSON content in HTTP client requests. Let's log into the admin page. Go to Settings, and then click on Extended Settings. Click on Show and Hide Keys. Search for JSON format. Select the checkbox for what.server.http.json format, and save changes. When this property is set to parsed, which is the default value, integration server parses JSON content into pipeline variables automatically. Let's now focus on implementing the associated service for post resource operation. Here I am simply hard coding the response string. Save changes. Let's now set the pipeline debug property to save. Here I am using Postman application to send the HTTP request as a client for the post resource operation. Click on create a request. Select post method. Enter the request URL here. Copy the REST directive name configured, and use the same in the request URL. And then URL template provided in the REST resource for the post operation. Click on Authorization tab and select Basic Authentication as Type. Provide Username Password for Basic Authentication. Now click on Body, select Raw, and set Content Type as JSON.
This is the sample JSON payload that I am going to post. Paste the JSON content and click on send. The request has been processed successfully on server and received the response as expected. Now restore the pipeline, and debug the service to see how the integration server handle JSON content. Integration server automatically converted the JSON payload into IS document. You just need to provide the exact document structure in the input tab. Terminate the debug process and switch back to service development perspective. Set the pipeline debug property to save again. Now set this property to bytes. If what.server.http.json format is set to bytes, integration server places the incoming stream of JSON into a byte array. Let's modify the order ID and send the request. Set the pipeline debug property to restore, and debug the flow service. Now the JSON payload is converted into byte array. In this case, you can define the input variable called JSON bytes as shown. Let's cancel the changes, and check for stream type. Now set this property to stream. If what.server.http.json format is set to stream, integration server places a JSON stream variable containing the JSON content in the pipeline as an input stream. Let's define the input variable called JSON stream, so that we can use the JSON stream in our logic. Here I am invoking a built-in service to convert the incoming JSON stream into string. And print that string to server log. Let's modify the order ID and send the request. Now restore the pipeline, 
and start debugging the flow service to check if the JSON stream is coming or not. JSON stream is not coming in the restored pipeline. Because stream content will not be available in the saved pipeline. But we can see the JSON payload in the server log. This is the order ID we have used in the last request. Terminate the debug process and save the pipeline again. Remove the logic we have used for processing JSON stream. You can override the behavior specified by what.server.http.json format in individual requests by adding the JSON format query parameter to the request URI. For example, if what.server.http.json format is set to stream, a client can override the setting and instead specify a value of parsed for the request by entering a URI as follows. Let's add the query parameter here. Change the order ID, and send the request. Let's restore the pipeline and debug the flow service. As expected. This behavior is overridden for this request alone. Thank you.